Welcome back to Leading Our Own Way. You know, I still believe this will be the number one podcast in the world where people are sharing their stories, creating a safe space, hopefully creating a vulnerable space for you guys to be in too. And it's okay to share your story, you know. I believe everyone has a story worth sharing and worth hearing. And we have one episode today. And I'd like you to welcome my guest, Brilliant Lou. There's a few clues in the studio that what he's all about. But that's not what he's all about. The pictures that you see here and the company that he's leading, it goes way be deeper than that. From the journey from his childhood and some of the things he had to endure. There are some clues within his name from what he may have been through and how he created this. He's, on, he's been on one heck of a journey. He's vulnerable. He talks about some of the things most leaders don't talk about, being nervous, being shy. In this episode, he has shown exactly his vulnerability and his authenticity. He's been one amazing person to speak to. I've been following him for a while and I reached out and I'm really looking for, for him to appear on Leading Our Own Way. I hope you enjoy the episode. Don't click away. Be patient and listen to his words. Listen to the journey he's been on and how he's navigated himself out of some of the trauma he's had to endure with his family, his upbringing, his education. And look at the motivation behind what he's created. It's absolutely fantastic. So stay online, listen to the intro, and we'll be right back. You're going to enjoy it. Welcome to Leading Our Own Way. I'm your host, Andrew White, and this is the podcast that unveils captivating narratives of resilience and personal triumph. This podcast is for anyone seeking inspiration and insights on overcoming life's challenges. Follow and subscribe, and then we can lead together forever. Hi there, brilliant Lou. How are you today, mate? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Oh, no, brilliant. It's a pleasure having you. I want to first of all start off by um, welcoming him to um, Leading Our Own Way. Uh, I've been uh, following your journey for a very long time. Um, I know we've connected briefly over the last year, 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 maybe year and a half. I'm not too sure, but it's a privilege to have you on Leading Our Own Way. Um, I'm so grateful because I think a lot of people will get a lot from your story uh, and what you're doing currently in the moment and the present moment. But yeah, I think we go, I've, I've been following your journey and I've, I've loved your path and I've, I'm, I'm certainly inspired by the decisions you've made and, and how self-reflective you are in, in, in not only our other discussion, but the things that I've uh, noticed. So thank you for joining and, um, uh, you know, being vulnerable in, in, in sharing your journey. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think, yeah, people will get a lot from you. But I want to start off, Brilliant, by you telling us, you know, tell the, tell the listeners who exactly, who you are and what you do. My name is Brilliant. It's my the real name. Mom. It's the name I got from my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm the founder of House of Leaders. I started House of Leaders eight, no, it's nine years, almost nine years ago. Um... Yeah, I think that sums up sums up everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and what can you tell everybody for know that for those that don't know what House of Leaders is? What is House of Leaders? So House of Leaders is a community. I will say community for leaders. Um, but when I say leaders, it's people who want to take charge of their lives, see um, life from a positive point of view. So we. Like I built House of Leaders so um, for, as a place for people to gather, to learn together, to grow together, because I think um, people need a safe space for them to connect. Um, and I want, and the team and uh, my partner in House of Leaders, we want people when they engage in House of Leaders, Instagram, especially on Instagram, they can feel space, they can express themselves, they can be themselves, and they can grow together with us. 
Yeah, I love that. And that's super important, isn't it? Why do you, why do you think that's... Before, I know we're probably going in a different direction at the beginning where I wanted to go, actually, but why do you think that's so important now in the present day? Um, well, there's a lot of negative um, mm. narrative from media, from a lot of people, from our environment, from our friends that's going around every single day. So... I think it's really important for us to be surrounded by amazing people who can remind us to be positive, but mm. that, that by those people can be around us all the time. So that time, I think when 2015, I feel so much impact when I was near my first mentor who inspires me about leadership. And mm. I think if I can start something, um, maybe it can inspire people. Well, at first, House of Readers is just a blog before it grows into a community. Um, so when it grows into the community and these ideas you know, came into me, oh, why don't we start, like we grow it in a, a bigger House of Readers and then we make it as a platform for people to connect, to be vulnerable, to to help each other, to support each other. Like, Simply when you have, we just have, uh, when you read a quote, for example, that we post on House of Readers and then you feel something, you feel connected and then you share something. Maybe you have a bad day. You share something on the comments and then people will just go there and then give you a positive and supportive message. And it's okay. And that, that is a really great idea. So um, since then, I was growing House of Readers, connecting people to House of Readers, including introducing House of Readers to more and more people. So I think it starts from there. And what type of, uh, so what type of people do you have coming to you now then? Brilliant. Well, House of Leaders, we always, our target audience is the people I think around 24 to 34 years old, which were just graduated or they were just about to enter the, um, you know, to, to enter the, um, what is the word? to start their career, start yeah. to look for jobs. Um, so people who are, you know, they don't know where to go. They are having trouble in their life. They are confused mm -hmm. where to go, which path to take. They, well, well, we all are confused of what path to take. I, I don't know, like when I was 20 something, I guess, still playing games. I don't know which path to go. I was, well, I was working, but I don't know, like, what is my life purpose? And yeah. that time, I think I like watching from, reading from books, watching from a lot of videos that we have to have a grand vision, something like that. But I think the most thing we need is a community or a people or friends that can surround us, that can, um, you know, just encourage us to be better because well we like 20 something is still young we still have a long way to go don't have to rush it but because of the society especially in um you know the asian culture you got to be successful really early on um you got to make us proud um so there's a lot of comp competition in especially in the asian culture um you have to learn business from a young age so that like my parents teach me actually like my parents are so disciplined so like we are being i think being forced is too strong of a word but yeah we are being forced to be dis disciplined and learn about financial in the young age so that sorry andrew but I, i've been going too far i think no it's fine mate you're on a flow go for it man i'm enjoying it it's good Okay. Well, I, and I, I can always, you know, we, we'll always pull back, so don't worry about that. You, you go, man. You, let it be natural, brother. All good. Okay. Um. So where did I left off? So you, 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 you were touching briefly, like, um, on, on your childhood, like the, 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 the culture that you brought up in, and the competition that comes along with that. And what is the, um, uh, the question again? So I can, you know, read it right back. Um, you, we were talking about um, 
the type of people that you attract to uh, to house of leaders and then we kind of ventured into where that came from for you and the culture that you bring in and the the joy and the positivity uh, and then the competition uh, and then the community that you're trying to build and then you kind of dive down into uh, you know the the the, the aspect of your childhood and the competition uh, not not being forced in, into understanding business but you get in you you dis you you i think the practice maybe that you got brought up in was the disciplinary and not again is disciplinary and too strong i don't know but you you've you've got discipline in place and you've you've kind of gone down that track um does does that make sense well actually stop there then that's okay where we'll come back to the house of leaders let's talk about you right now then because how old are you brilliant I am going to be 31 this July. Yeah. And and at 31, I think you have a huge I think you've got a lot of pressure on your on your young shoulders. You know, 31 to have the size of business that you have. For anyone that doesn't know House of Leaders, go on to Instagram, Google, and you'll understand where I'm coming from. And I think I I don't know if you expected it to get to the size that it is. Um so let's talk about let Let's talk about you first, because that's super important. How are you today? Like, how are you mentally? How are you physically? How are you emotionally? I think I've been great. So it's always ups and downs for me and for Mm -hmm. my wife. But I think it's been great. 2021 is the hardest 2020, mm-hmm. 2020, and 2020 and 2021 is the hardest years of for both of us, me and uh, my wife and I. But 2022, mm-hmm. we learned from our mistakes, and 2023, we really have an amazing year of growth in spirituality, in uh, mentally, physically, and financially. And then in 2024, we start fresh and strong, mm-hmm. I can say. So I can say I'm pretty great. Um, mentally, physically, and I've been working out. I've been taking care of my body. I've been, um, you know, really conscious of everything I consume, including for my brain and for my body and the thing I read, the thing I listen to, the circle. Well, I, I start to understand now the quote of the, the lar- I think the larger the vision is, the smaller the circle is, something like that, um, that quote, the kind of quote. So, I mean, the, 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 it's not the larger the fish is, but the more you grow, the smaller the fish, the, the circle will be because you are tend to, you know, I think this, how, this is will, this will explain it. So when we grow, there are certain people in our group that will not grow with us. They will stay there. So I, from what I see, most of my friends, they try to lift them up. But you can't lift someone up if they don't give you their hand. So I think it has to go other, um, the other way around. So the other people have to you know, climb up instead of we lifting them up. And if they need help, they will tell us. And if they stay there, you know, it, we will have to be selective of the people we surround ourselves with. It's not that we are, you know, cruel that we left our old friend behind, but we just need to grow and we need to move on. And as we grow, we attract more people that are the same frequency and the same level as us, and we keep growing. Or we decided to stop. That like, that's enough. And you know, the circle is getting smaller. It's it's not getting smaller, but it's getting more, you know, clear and amazing, like, circle of people I surround myself with now. Like, when we meet, like, once a week, they will ask, how are you? Um, how are you doing in life? Do you need any support? Um, I think we can do this. There's something we can do. But there's a time. Um, this is so amazing. So 2020, mm-hmm. is it, it's 2020. 2020 or 2021, early 2021, um, one of my good friends, he, one day he just, you know, we have a meeting about a business we are, it's not a business, it's a community, uh, a crypto community um, we built in Indonesia. So one day he 
like we have a meeting and then I'm not focused at all because I have a really bad financial um, trouble that time. And then he suddenly asked, um, are you okay? Is there any help you need? And then I told him um, the problem. I'm totally vulnerable. I tell him everything. And then he just, he helped me found the solution that I need. And then I tell him everything like brutally honest. We make a plan and then I bring the plan home. I talk to my wife and no one, I think one month later, not even one month, the problem is solved. And since then, everything is going up. There's like, there's no looking back. There's no down, down the path anymore. It's, it's just, it's just up and it's been great. So I think if you ask me mentally, physically, spiritually, and physically, I'm great. Yeah, brilliant. And that's a good lesson to learn. I mean, that lesson that we could probably take from that scenario is, is somebody asked how you are and you feel comfortable? Open up. It's okay to be not okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree. You you mentioned in there around, let's go back to the 2020 mark then, because you said there were some ups and downs. Let's start with the downs. What were some of the downs in 2020? I'm guessing it was around the COVID area, uh, COVID time, but um, what was what was down in 2020? Was it to do with House of Leaders? Was it you personally? What was going on for you in 2020 before 21? So I I built a I built a kind of school of for influencers is a community for influencers because um, when I grow House of Leaders um, to 100k something, a lot of people mm-hmm. are reaching out to me to ask me how I grow House of Leaders to 100k. So I kind of created a community called Actually Mafia at that time. And we have, we used to have a lot of partners, but they left. Um, and I was still young. I don't know how to do business. And I, I guess I heard some of them. It comes back at me, I think, because I was really, I used to be, I used to speak really rude because uh, I'll feel third rude. So, um, and I thought that was cool at that time. Yeah. So oh, you're, you're those, typical young man, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> well I was I think I if I got to see myself that time speaking like that, I would say you were too much brilliant, you better tone down. But yeah, yeah. Uh, long story short, twenty nineteen, I was at my peak. Like I I have um a lot of savings. I was moving to the capital, Jakarta in Indonesia with my wife. I was about to expand the business. Um, so when I expand the business, I leave my hometown. I leave the headquarter to um, my another partner of, my, of mine. So a lot of things happens. I had like arguments with them. So I had to leave the company and... Well, I don't want to say I had to leave. I was kind of for, forced to leave. Um, it's not anybody's fault. It's just uh, we had a different, um, different vision, I guess. Yeah. So if a different vision. Yeah. Yeah. I I decided to leave the company, so I lost like my baby that I've been building for four years, and that's okay because I'm getting married next year. I had savings. I moved to the capital. This is new starts. But then I invested in oil. Um, so I, I make a lot of, I can say I make a lot of money from my investments. But 2020, 20, 2019, the end of 2019, um, a lot of things happens with US and the China and China and North Korea and the oil price plummeted to I think two to three dollars that time. But like, but long story short, I lost all all of my money. Um, we were really depressed. It's not if it's okay if I lost all of my money and then I, you know, I start again from zero. But no, I lost the money and then I had to borrow money because I just bought a house that time, so I had to borrow money to pay the house to pay the mortgage. So, um. It was really depressing. Early 2020, we were we were supposed to celebrate um, because of new starts, but we are you know rained by that, and it's 10 months before I get married. I had to gather the money because we already booked everything. 
yeah, it's been really depressing. So, but yeah, we bounce back. We, I think a lot of things happens that time. Um, wait, sorry, what was the question again? So I can. Um, so we, you were just we're going kind of through the twenty twenty mark twenty one paint because you mentioned twenty to twenty four. You said twenty four opening up as being really good. So we're just filling in that gap of twenty. 20 to 21, 22. Um, uh, yeah, so you've answered the question pretty much, but we're probably up to around the 21 mark. Get, uh, in, where at the side of all of this, was House of Leaders still going? Because you've had House of Leaders for what, eight years now? So was House of Leaders still at the side of it and still under your control? But where was um, the, the, the. Do you still remember like the, the early question you asked for me? Say that again, sorry. Uh, the early question you asked me before I start answering. The uh, so we we're fi we we're filling in the gap of twenty twenty on that where it was really down for you. You've just explained okay. that. How, where did okay. where did it then go from to, in in twenty one? We'll we'll start around okay. twenty one. Um. So in in twenty twenty, we actually we try to bounce back and. It's been great because we still have house of, have house of leaders. So house yeah, of yeah. leaders is making a steady revenue. We, yeah. you know, we kind of make just enough money to you know pay everything, get married, mm -hmm. and then go back to Jakarta and then start everything again. But you know how universe works is amazing. I at that time I don't know what universe is trying to teach me and my wife, but the moment the like we get married, we go back to Jakarta, house of leaders um fall into something. I explained earlier, um I think from our chat that is shadow shadow ban, where yeah. people is people cannot search us on um the search page, so like we're so gone from. So on yeah. Instagram then, shadow ban, uh, for those that don't know Instagram or maybe not aware of this, because I wasn't aware of it and I've been on Instagram for, you know, forever. Um, I, I wouldn't say I've heavily used it until maybe the last, since I've started nurturing leadership and leading our own way, really. But um, shadow ban, you, if, if people are following you, though, can they still come across you if they type it in or not? So people can only find us if they type like everything, houseofleaders.co. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So usually because um, we have a lot of followers, um, a million something that time, when you only type house or if you've been tracking us frequently, you just type H-O, we already came up like the top. You're, but yeah, you're a pair, when yeah. you were shadow banned, like you have to type everything. You're gone from the homepage. You're gone from the story. You're gone from the explore page. People are like, it's hard to find you. So our engagement dropped from like ten of, tens of thousands to like not even a hundred. So we had to put a stop to all of our clients because we don't want to offer like they pay for um, the ad and we don't want to give something that like they're, they do not deserve. So of course, put a stop um, on everything. That time we don't really do like we keep asking like what is the what is universe trying to teach us like what is we missing? But thank God we've been building good relationship with um, a lot of house of leaders friend. The shadow band itself goes on for almost a year and a half. Um, but uh, um, so it goes on and off. So three months and then. We are free for like two weeks and then it goes for another six months and then we go we'll be free from zero friend band from for like a week and then it goes again like I think for almost like half in a year. A year and a half, sorry. So but thank God we had a lot of um good friends, they support us, they they help to run the ad for our clients. Um and we can stay. We can still use the revenue for our, you know, continuance for house of leaders and our um, to keep living on, you know. But then in 2021, you know, we are just 
Um, go back and forth. So we we are only finding enough money to pay the mortgage to to just live. Like it's really hard. It's like a a cycle where you wake up and then you work and then you pay and then you sleep again. That like there's you keep. What is the word? I forget. Is it the rat race? Something like that. Yeah, the rat race. Um, check to check. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Get check it, yeah. to check. Yeah. Um. Did I mention in 2019 I bought a house, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. I had to mention this. the The reason we bought a house is because my wife says to me, like, when she got married, she want to have a house. She don't want after she got married. She she don't have to like a roof of herself to live in. That's why we bought a house. It's I that time I do feel like it's like kind of an impulsive decision. Like we want a house, we just um um we literally bought it. But at that time we are financially really um amazing, so we just bought it. But two to three months later, um shit happens. And then fast forward to 2021, it's really a hard year for us. Um, the peak is at 2022, 2022 February. So we are already, we are deeper, even deeper in that because I had to borrow money from my mom and my in-laws to pay for the house. So it's not healthy anymore. And then I, I try to talk to my wife a few times to sell the house, but my wife refused because it says it's the only investment we don't lose. So I thought, so I asked her, what do you mean? She says, um, we invest in this, we invest in this. Oh, forgot to mention that I got scammed in 2021. I think early, um, middle year, middle of 2021, I got scammed because my, a good friend of ours, me, uh, my wife and I invite us into a an investing platform. Came out, it's it's a scamming platform, so it's it's not a real platform. When we send the money to them, it's already in them. So we we just trading in their fake platform. So they make it like they make it look like we make money, and when we withdraw our money, they give us our money, and then we. Put more and then more and more and then they go, they're gone. So um, that's why uh, we are getting deeper and deeper in that. Um, but 2022, everything changed. So um, that is when I met my uh, a good friend of mine, and then he asked me, "Are you okay? Uh, is there anything I can help you?" At first, I was I, I never told him that I was getting scammed. Because my wife, I think we talk about it and then we don't want to tell this to other people because we are ashamed of it. Um, you know, getting scammed is something that you are ashamed of because I think you make a stupid decisions in life and then you are not brave enough to tell others. You are not brave enough to ask to reach out for help. And then you're just getting deeper and deeper in the hole. So yeah, yeah. I tell him everything. Um, I was getting scammed. I make a kind of impulsive decision buying the house. And then now I was, you know, borrowing money from in-laws, from my family to pay the house, which is not healthy anymore. I'm getting deeper and deeper in that. I still had house of feeders to run. I still have a team to, you know, decide to pay. I still mm-hmm. have to live in the capital and it's not cheap here. Worst case, I have to go back to my hometown. That's why I'm really stressed out now. I can't even focus on my work. Yeah. And then he say, like, logically, he, um, like, we talk like two to three hours. Like, I, I bring out everything to him and then he help us, help me find a solution. And the first, like, the most important solution he gave me is, like, you got to sell the house, man. When you sold the house, you will, when you sell the house, you will get, like, the chunk of money that can pay the debt. And you don't have to pay the mortgage anymore. That will really help. Um, and so, so he, he says to me, the first thing you got to do is think hard how to convince your wife to help on how to sell this house. So I think really hard. I go home 
and then I went home, and then I I speak to my wife. I you know try to open up. I told her that we really need to sell this house because this house is not um like the not only this house will help us, but this is our source of problem because we have to pay the mortgage. And well, if we sell this house, we don't have to pay for the mortgage anymore. Um, and we can use this to pay the debt. And like this is the solution. So um, after getting, you know, talking about it, we just realized that actually this is, I think this is what universe wants us to learn. We yeah. are not ready to have the house yet. We're not ready to have this kind of lifestyle yet. And then when we pay, when we bought the house, um, I think universe say something like, well, we'll see if you guys are ready. Um, mm. And then gave us this test, you know, and comes out we are greedy. We want more money. We want more to have better life. So we are greedy. We don't, we take the shortcut. And then when finally we are learning, universe sent us another um, challenge again or test at the scamming part. And then we get scammed again because we want a shortcut to have a better life faster. So I think that is, we, we learned it the hard way, like two years of really hard, hard year. And after we learned about it, we sold the house, we paced the, we, we paced the, our dad. And then um, I remember we also sold the car for a while before we buy another car. So we like clear everything. Yep. You know, amazingly, Amazingly, magically, after we sold the house, we, we pay for that, and then we understand the reason why, like, don't be so impulsive, don't be greedy, you gotta take one step at a time, you gotta speak up, you gotta reach out for help when you need it, like, everything goes back to normal. House of readers' um, engagement go back to normal, we start receiving more clients, the shadow band is, is, is gone, um, I start getting more opportunity, um, business opportunity from um, a lot of people. People that reach reach out to me for the last two years, but now they're reaching out to me. They're um, inviting me to do business with them. Um, I start to go out again to see sun, to you know connect with people. My wife, I start to see her smile again because we're, it's kind it's kind of depressing. Two years of depressing moment. So, and everything just go up from there. It's, it's been amazing. So since then, we take one step at a time. I start to learn about financial deeper. I, you know, I, I learn about how to manage your financial, about tax, like everything. I learned from um, beginning um, the, I learned from zero again. So yeah. yeah, it's been amazing since then. It's been amazing. So some summing up, it's, it's been amazing. That's great. Now I'm glad that you're. I'm, I'm glad that you've you've learned. You've clearly learned some valuable lessons there, and it's allowed you to go back to the drawing board to understand. You've got such a big business. You, I suppose you. It, I suppose setting up that business and not knowing the business side of things, that could have been the result of why one you got scammed or you know putting you had all this money at such a young age to put into oil. I mean, that's not, that doesn't go cheap, does it? And then obviously you can't control them what happens. Obviously that's not your fault. But with the scamming, you, what I, I mean, if I can ask, what are we looking at? Are we looking at tens of thousands or, or hundreds of thousands? Is it, is, it, is it a huge scam? Is it a small scam? Because for me, if I get scammed out of $2,000, I'm, I'm screwed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, well, so... U.S. dollars here is really big. So one U.S. dollars is fifteen thousand. Um, right. So in Indonesia, I think the average of the manager here, I think the lowest, the lowest wage salary is five million, which is around four hundred and fifty to five hundred U.S. dollars. So with five million, you can live a month here. Um, well, but you have to be kind of um, you know, no spans, like it's, it's just a simple lifestyle. It's five to 10 million. I think you can, um, live happily here. So five, so, five million is what in US dollars? Sorry. Um, I think 400, 450 to 5 million. I think 5 million is $300 to 400 something. 400, so, three, $400. Yeah. 
So you can live an all right life on four hundred dollars a month there. Um. Yeah, but that is really um. You know, not you have to live in a what is the word in English? Um. Wait, wait. Like in a one. One room, bedroom apartment, like a studio. Yeah, like studio. like a studio. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Even the studio costs two million here. So I think. Mm-hmm. Well, let's say you have to have ten million minimum to to live comfortably in Jakarta. So that's yeah. around seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Man, I wish I wish rent I wish mortgage here was seven hundred dollars a month. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so so um. At first, we only invested like a few hundred, and then we make more. And my wife says, "You know, let's put more because obviously we are making more, and like we can withdraw the money. And then we put a thousand, and then we make more, and then we add more, a few more thousands. I think it it peaks us at um, I think it's less than ten thousand, but a few thousand dollars. American dollars. dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is a lot here. And- which is a lot here. We can we can. Um, I think with the money we invest in, we can rent a house here for like two years. I think two, one to two years. Yeah, and yeah, that's wow. a lot of money. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, time, wow, yeah. okay, yeah. It, it, I'm, I'm learning about your country there because I, 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 it's weird here because my mortgage. I think my mortgage here is something like three and a half thousand Australian dollars. So I don't think that's far off that the same in in American dollars of a money. So it's it's really expensive here as well um so don't live here if <laughs> you know, it's unbelievable um so the scam and then the, the other thing what was the other thing that you mentioned oh, i forgot what it was now the, the, alongside the scam uh, though the shadow ban i'm really interested in the shadow ban is there any way you can contact instagram because obviously that's a source of income and millions of people rely on instagram as their as their business um i mean that seems a bit it scares me that uh, somebody or a company like that can just have control over viewership without any reason at least had you violated anything on instagram how, how, is there anybody you can contact to go hey what what on earth is going on here join us tomorrow to hear more from today's incredible guests and learn valuable insights to help you lead your own way don't forget to subscribe we'll see you then